I took this picture on October 19, 2013, around 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time in Houston. Um, this is a full moon, and actually the full 100% uh, full moon or lunar disk was on October 18. By this day, the moon was already started losing the uh, uh, the complete um, illumination on the disk, and you can see it by these areas right here. The less light from the sun is on the moon or reflects on the moon, the more details we can see. If you compare this other area, you can see very nothing on details of uh, craters and mountains. On this picture right here, it was just a full moon rising, and uh, the north is on this part, the south is on this. This photo um, is, is took by the Lunar Reconna Reconnaissance Orbiter camera. Uh, this is a very good satellite that has been, uh, you know, orbiting the moon, and has been taking a lot, a lot of pictures and images of the moon. Uh, this is the north pole on the moon. This is how the moon rotates itself. The moon has a an inclination of about 1.5, almost 2 inches degrees. And this part you see right here is this part. As you can see from Earth, the moon looks different, right? And I want you to show you another picture now. Keep in mind, this is the full moon on October 19. I took this picture at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time in Houston, Texas. Now. Um, I don't know if it's right to say technically, but this is how we should see the moon, or this is how the moon looks, or are positioned on a space. The north on top, the south on the bottom, and uh, it should be spinning this way, like that, like uh, from left to right, and it has an inclination of, of less than two inches, uh, two degrees. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm keep saying inches, but it's wrong. It's less than two degrees. Now, if it's if it's in a space, if we are in a space, this is probably how we see the north and south. Now look at this. Now this picture right here. I took this picture on the next day, October twentieth, seven twenty a.m. As you can see, totally the north has been changed position. Um, we'll say like um, about ninety degrees, let's say, has been changing. And uh, still full moon on this day. Uh, this is the part I was talking about. This area right here, it start getting less uh, reflection. I mean, less light reflected from the sun, and you can start seeing more details of craters and mountains compared to the other side. The side now, what's happening in here is after full moon, the light is start going uh, down, start disappearing this way, and this part is start getting dark. And then, and then the cycle keeps going for about two weeks until we get a new moon. And by the way, today is new moon and it's a super moon, but we can see it obviously. New moons cannot be see visible on the sky because it's not light reflected. But today, uh, January 30th, 2014, it's a super moon because this moon is it's going to be real close to the planet Earth. Now, now this is not the first time I see something like this on the moon. If you are getting into my fa uh, Facebook and my personal Facebook, people will notice that I mean, for years I've been taking pictures and uh, study the moon with my own equipment. Um, I'm gonna put the put the links of the two uh, astronomy page and the photography page that I have on Facebook, and you will be you know just go on the pictures and you will see these pictures. I always post pictures like this on my pages. This is not the first time I noticed this. October 11 the same thing when the moon rises the north is on one side when it, when the moon sets it's on the other side and we keep moving this is the one I just so show you right now uh, this is another one I took in November and it's doing the same behave that all these pictures was taken in Houston uh, sunrise, I mean, uh, moon rises on the uh, night around 8 o'clock, 7 or 8, 8 o'clock, and, and it sets in the morning the next day around 2 hours. And the point is, on a 12 hours uh, uh, time, 
uh, the moon looks like it's been tilted or changed position. I want to get to this point and that's the reason I'm making this video now. For years I have seen these um, videos and, and uh, friends and people been asking me these same questions about the moon if it's really true that it's been tilted. Um, and it's the same thing the same thing like I saw that the, it was going to be crashed the planet Earth, that it was Nibiru. The same thing with Nibiru things. For years and years, the people have been saying that they took a picture and appears by the sun. The same thing or phenomenon, I will say, happened with the moon. Uh, there's a lot of videos about the moon. Say the moon is not real. The moon is an hologram. Uh, the moon is not brown as silver. And uh, stuff like that. By the way, um, this one right here, I really recommend you to do this. If you want to really learn uh, real science, not pseudoscience, I mean, if you want to really uh, hear facts from people who really got knowledge of science, this person right here, I just make a very good video and it show you evidence and proofs that the moon landing was not fake. We really went to the moon and this guy right here show you very good evidence you gotta click and see the video. I really recommend you to do that. This is most of the time the names of the videos they put. The moon has shifted or the moon has tilted, and you will see this. There are a lot of videos telling you this thing. They're captured of the moon. The moon has shifted. Uh, the moon has tilted. Photos and proof. I mean, video proof. and then just the moon is turning rotating upside down possible pole shift coming it's a, like, like I call the Nibiru thing this is a phenomenon this is such as look at this way see how many people made up videos and and tell things and and you know proclaim things theoretical things that most of the time what they use is not even their own equipment they use pictures that belong from NASA or from other institution that's the worst part there's nothing wrong if you want to bring a theory or, or, or an idea it's nothing wrong with that it's something good um, if you're an amateur astronomer most of the asteroids or meteors or a lot of them has been discovered by amateur astronomers but when you bring something like that, you got to prove it. You got to bring enough evidence. You can you can show that to the astronomy community, to the scientific community. You can do that. There's there is not a, there is not a no as an answer. Like no, you're not a, you're not part of this uh, school or you're not a teacher, or whatever. No, if you have a, a theory about something, you have to have a strong evidence and support it. This is how the scientific community works, and this is how I discover things. But you're not gonna bring an idea, just base it on something. Now, I'm gonna explain you the reason why the moon looks like that. It is a very uh, normal thing, and it's a reason for that. This video right here, it was it was uh, it was made it using an image from a, a lunar reconnaissance orbiter satellite that is orbiting the moon. This video you see right here is a one year of moon phases 2011 you see the wobbling in here and also you see some of the things that I was mentioned on a, on a, a little bit before let me stop it when the uh, light is reflecting on the moon it's almost impossible to see details but when it's like uh, between the dark uh, uh, area and the light sh uh, shadow and the light area it is possible to see more details of the moon. Another thing we can look in this video is that about 60% of the moon is visible from planet Earth doing of this because of this wobbling you see right here. Now, this wobbling it's something called abrasion. And this is one of the reasons why we see the moon changing on planet Earth. Like when the moon rises or the moon sets on a, on a different times and different days when it's not full moon we still see these changes but still on this video right here we don't see the whole complete uh, um, move of the of the moon like this is the maximum what well, we see it's a little bit more this way
now the reason because on this video right here we only see a variable partial part of the moon being let's say the word tilt it's not tilt it's just being uh, um, changed it's because on this case right here it's only two kind of vibrations that has been applied and that's because this images were took it from the space not from planet earth now let me explain you a little bit more about these vibrations this is the three uh, kind of uh, different vibrations that is uh, make the moon looks like that it's a vibration in latitude vibration in longitude and diurnal vibration now let's see what is vibration vibration in latitude so the vibration in latitude is the consequence of the moon axis of rotation being slightly inclined to the normal to the plane of these of the orbit around the earth show you a little example about this this is how the north and south should be looking at the moon if you're in space if we got zero inclination this is the uh, parallactic angle or, or uh, the position of the angle now I take the north and south out the point is this um, the, uh, the the maximum the value for the uh, vibration uh, and latitude is how it goes like this uh, the tilt of the moon equator to the ecliptic remember the north is here the south is here but the tilt um, of the moon on the equator to the ecliptic is about 1.54 degrees so let's go something something like this and then the tilt of the moon orbital plane in respect to the ecliptic it's about 5.15 degrees so we add it and we got a total of 4 or 6.69 so let's kind of have an idea see now this is just a little example of I'm, I'm trying to make myself understand uh, so people can understand what I'm trying to say uh, this is what this is what it is the, the the liberation and latitude do it of this moon inclination it's about total of I'm about it's a six six point sixty nine degrees so that the north go from here to here now if we're in a space this is what the LRO picture when and and they take the photos of one year of the moon it, it was taking pictures of the moon being on a space and the moon, go, uh, the moon go from here to here in one year but for us on planet air we can actually go see a little bit more kind of like this right so let me keep explaining you a little bit more this is what I was trying to get uh, for now this is what it is the liberation and latitude now liberation and longitude this is consequence of the moon orbital eccentricity around the air we call that elliptic uh, it means the, it means the following thing now this is a little thing I make uh, the point A is planet Earth the B is the moon it's still the moon uh, this is what we call elliptic orbit and this is part of the uh, uh, libration and longitude now uh, when the moon is far away from the planet Earth uh, and this position right here is called apogee when the moon is getting closer uh, close to the air it's called perigee now this uh, elliptic orbit or the or this is the call uh, this make happen to the moon to wobble so the east and west so uh, this is what we call uh, a libration and longitude because this ecl ecliptic um, uh, orbit I'm just looking at here I, I write this wrong but don't don't pay attention to my English please just pay attention to what I'm trying to say but the point is this make the moon uh, uh, wobbles and that's the reason why we see more than 50 almost 60 percent of the moon because this wobbling of east and west of the moon it's possible to see a little bit more than 50 percent now back to this video right here this this is this is the, the vibration and longitude it's it's make possible to this to happen you see this is the north and the south but if you look at the east 
and west part of the moon be because this this wobbling it's possible to see some areas in here and sometimes and sometimes see more areas on this bar I will bring the the, the links of this all this information that I'm, I'm getting into the description of this video so you can look for yourself on what, what I'm saying right here but this make the moon possible for us from planet there be uh, possible to see about 60 percent of them so this video was made and it's possible to see thanks to two kinds of vibration latitude and longitude now because this uh, vibration and longitude it is possible for something else to happen on planet air we call the lunar tides if you are living by the water by lakes or ocean you will know what I'm talking about uh, the point is this uh, there's two kinds of tides there's one called neap and the other one called spring uh, it does a spring tide doesn't mean it's in the spring time on, on a, on a it can be any time of the uh, of the month, and winter time, and fall, any time. But the point is this: do it of this uh, um, libration and longitude. Uh, the moon and the earth are attracting together, and because the magnetic uh, force between them, it is possible for the moon to pull uh, the water from the earth and actually make some kind of wobbling earth. Uh, everything happens after the full moon or after the new moon or a little bit before but when the moon is located for the say uh, in this position and that's when the neap tide will happen and then when the moon is in full moon or new moon and it takes a little bit more days after the full moon it's something happen called spring tide now because the earth it's, it's orbiting itself, rotating itself, I mean, 24 every 24 hours. Uh, either spring or neap tides happen two times a day. Every two hours or so, it happens two high tides or two low tides. Uh, depends of where is the position of the moon. And all this is happening because the uh, libration and longitude, because the e elliptic orbit of the moon around the Earth. Now the third uh, libration, this one I call diurnal libration, and this is the consequences of the air rotation and the inclination of 23 degrees. Actually, it's like 23.5 degrees. The diurnal, uh, the diurnal libration is uh, do it of the planet Earth. Um, you know, the planet rotate every 24 hours, but also it has uh, uh, in the position angle. The planet has an inclination on the equator of 23.5 degrees. So this is, let me see, I'm going to put in here. This is what 23.5 degrees, an idea. It will look like on the planet there. The Earth is still rotating on, on, the, on the axle, like this. So this um, inclination of the planet Earth uh, make possible for us to see one one side of the moon when it's rising and then another side when it's uh, setting, setting. Um, I bring a picture right here see this is a picture to have an idea this this is what happened because the, the planet rotation the planet air rotation and also it has an inclination of 23.5 degrees and make us to see from Earth uh, the moon rising in one side and about a uh, few hours after when it's sitting to see the other side now like I see like a uh, like a we showed on the uh, on the on a vibration of longitude and latitude uh, the moon doesn't uh, go all the way uh, uh, turn like this it doesn't look like it but the rest of this view is because the diurnal uh, vibration so it just change the perspective of the view as, as we can see from planet Earth, but if we are in space, we are gonna see this change, maybe a little bit, like probably around here. It will don't be uh, possible to see it all the way back there here. 
also this um, inclination of the uh, of the earth axis and make possible also to have a different uh, uh, weathers like uh, the four uh, stations in the year uh, this inclination of planet earth also made possible for uh, climbs to change like to have the four station it's not that the uh, the orbital move of the planet around the sun will be real oval it's not actually a circle it's actually a ecliptic but it's not like that much what it actually make to happen the four stations on the year on 365 days is this inclination of 23.5 degrees this make happen to have the different weather from the north hemisphere and south hemisphere at the same time uh, during the uh, planet air orbiting the sun so what we have is three types of vibration vibration and latitude which means the moon axis has been inclinated 6.69 degrees the vibration and longitude which means the moon orbit around the earth being elliptic and diurnal or, or daily vibration which means the earth axis is inclinated 23.4.5 degrees all these three uh, vibrations made possible for us to see the moon change like this for years I have seen this um, I have to admit it uh, a long time ago I fall on this trap too I told that something was wrong with the moon and I'm published a little post on Facebook says that the moon something was wrong and I didn't know what it was and, and back then we're talking about three years or four I was trying to research about this and I finally uh, 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 you know, realize that the truth is this is a completely normal movement of the moon so every year I mean uh, every month every full moon or every day the moon we do this we already talk about it especially we notice this in full moon but if you pay attention new moon on a quarter um, of a half a moon it's doing the same thing it's, it's making this change in this position if you look at the moon or track at the moon since the time it rises uh, to the time it, it, it sets if it's full or, or like a quarter in any phase it will do the same thing you will notice this this uh, movement of the moon which is completely normal there's nothing wrong with this so I hope all this information can be uh, uh, useful for you and uh, next time you see videos of uh, information about the moon has tilt or something is wrong with the moon or it's a hologram uh, don't don't go ahead and uh, first thing you just believe it because uh, most of these people uh, probably they're just trying to you know probably get some some uh, abuse on their on the video so probably just try to get attention by uh, promoting the fear on people by promoting lies uh, and it's common that people uh, prefer to hear sometimes this kind of thing like you know it, it attracts the attention of people of the masses when they hear things like uh, the end of the worst tomorrow or s stuff like that but if you are really looking for uh, learn real science and, and uh, astronomy uh, you always make a research about everything you see uh, if, if there is a way you can join to any astronomy club in your area you can do it it's, it's something you know it will help you a lot a lot of people in there have a lot of knowledge and experience it will help you if there is no way probably you can start with your own club in there whatever you are get your own uh, telescopes or equipment uh, investigate before you make a, a video a statement try to learn everything as much as possible you can there is a lot of resource in these times and these days now uh, this is my best uh, suggestion for you um, and try to make all these videos to help the people who love astronomy to understand more you know to learn more things now uh, a lot of things of the space is still uh, unknown for for us there's a lot of things we don't know and a lot of things we probably be I believe a lot of things will be rediscovered in the future uh, a lot of things we talk they probably become wrong in the future but the point is we always I need to be there and you know making a research but uh, another thing there is um, a lot of things that it, it doesn't have an explanation yet but we don't understand uh, I don't believe we are alone in the universe it's like believing in only one colony of ants like six on the planet earth that would be like you know it's, it's a wasting of space so um, the, if there is another civilization civilizations they will be there I don't think we're the only ones but 
from there to try to prove one little thing we see is an alien or stuff like that it's real difficult you know you need to have a real evidence or proof now there's a lot of things on the moon that we don't understand a lot of weird things too um, I have seen some things in there but I have no no ways to prove what it is so until we don't have enough evidence we can just come out and, and claim something for now just uh, enjoy the space as that's what I like to do and enjoy the space every time as possible the weather has been real difficult on, uh, on most of the uh, area areas in the United States but whenever you get a clear a day clear skies I like to take the opportunity to, to you know look at the space take pictures and things like that you probably can do the same if you got an opportunity to do it now like uh, like always I do uh, this is my Facebook um, this is the page that I do astronomy after facebook.com slash astronomy Houston this is the Facebook that I use to publish publish things about astronomy some of these things uh, uh, I get the information uh, another ones uh, they're my own uh, images pictures of my own work of the space I like to do a lot of um, astrophotography um, this is the big the uh, website I mean this is the Facebook that I use for published astronomy now this one right here this is the page that I use for photography I like two different kind of photos uh, nature or, or space related but if you got a chance um, inviting you to come over here and, and give me a like this is Andromeda right here Andromeda Galaxy We spotted the uh, the Hubble telescope the night. All the uh, information links will be on the description of this video, including my uh, uh, Facebook pages. Now, one more thing. Uh, today it's a super moon. Today the moon will be real close to the planet Earth, but it's a new moon. So if you if you got a clear skies where you are. If you come out and, se and, and see the space, this is what you're going to see. Nothing. Because new moon, it's impossible to see. Not, it's nothing. It's just no light reflected, so you're not going to see anything. So, it is a good thing. It's a super moon, but bad thing for us is new moon. Now, the next uh, super moon, and actually it will be a full moon, will, will be in July 12 of this year. We're expecting to have a, a, a super moon and also a full moon. So. Uh, next few months like six months and then we're gonna have a very beautiful spectacular show in the skies well that's it for this video thanks for watching and please uh, check the descriptions on this video and please like those pages thank you